All right, this is the uh, third video that I'm making here. I figured I'd go ahead and make a video of the final assembly of this caliper. Uh, following the directions of the shop manual, they suggest um, topping up the caliper just to the uh, base of uh, the piston there for some uh, well, that'll help lubricate and also help uh, have things primed when you uh, are ready to bleed the system. Here's a, an o-ring that I'll pre-lubricate with uh, some brake fluid here. And this uh, o-ring will go on the bottom adjuster piece here, the part that threads into the caliper piston, so make sure it's uh, nice and lubricated with uh, brake fluid. And this is actually the ring that will create the seal with the brake fluid. Everything above here will be uh, lubricated with grease. So we'll go ahead and drop that piston down in the caliper and it threads in. And we'll go ahead and run that piece on down. It's got a hex key in there, so you can go ahead and use it. The hex tool. You want to be certain to line up this area where the uh, alignment pin is going to go. Now the rest of this area is um, going to be lubricated with a silicone grease, and I've always been told that uh, this dielectric uh, electricians type grease is a full silicone grease and that's what I happen to have on hand so that's what I'm using here so I'm going to go ahead and liberally lubricate the inside these pockets where the uh, ball bearings go and I'll lubricate the ball bearings themselves drop them into place there's three of them And finally, the alignment pin. And it drops right into place. Okay. And the next above this piece goes the second half of the adjuster. And uh, this will also get liberally lubricated with... Uh, the dielectric grease, um, the bearing here as well as uh, this bearing surface where the, the three ball bearings uh, will act against. And the way this works is uh, these uh, pockets create sort of a ramp so as this twists it, it creates a wedge action that uh, will push out on uh, the, the brake pad. and set the parking brake and then as you release the parking brake the um, the screw the part that screwed in there will remain behind if there's any slack to be taken up and that's how the auto adjustment works uh, it forces itself out and then is not uh, allowed to uh, retract except for any space that's uh, there available and finally the end cap the end cap also has an o-ring gasket but again there's no brake fluid in this area so the shop manual uh, recommends lubricating this gasket with the same silicone grease so we'll put a little bit of silicone grease along this o-ring and I think that's primarily to keep dust out of the um, inner workings of this piece here go counterclockwise till it 
drops in. There we go. And the shop manual. Be sure to check the shop manual. I don't know right off the top of my head what the torque specs are for this um, end cap piece here, but I think it's fairly high in the neighborhood of 90 to 100 foot pounds, but uh, just be sure to consult your manual. And finally, the last piece to go on is the parking brake. Uh, I'm calling it an actuating lever. And it's keyed on to go uh, to go in a, only a couple different ways. And it doesn't seem to want to go on here right now. Ah. Yeah. Perhaps if I was going the, the right way. It must be tapered to keep you from going on the right way. Uh, excuse me, keep you going from the wrong way. And uh, the next piece to go on is um, there's another dust seal here that goes around the uh, the shaft for the parking brake adjuster. It just pops in ahead of the parking brake lever, which goes on can go on I think one of three ways, but uh, the area where the cable comes in should be towards the bottom of the caliper. It pops on and is retained with this final bolt, which uh, obviously I'm not torquing things down, but that should have you one rebuilt caliper uh, ready for use on uh, Versailles rear end. So uh, hopefully this video will help you out in um, your project, and good luck.